I'm sorry about the noises in the background. I'm I'm trying to for the most so I can turn it down. I can't, so you'll probably have to deal with it. But anyways, welcome to WFSO Bucks Talk. Um, it ain't live because like I'm watching um, Impact at the same time, so can't do anything about it. So so one oh. It was 108 117, I believe, was the final, and the Bucks did win. So I think it's their three game winning streak, I believe, but could be wrong, so I think it is. But, um, anyways, with like all the. Now I'm just looking at the, you know, the stats and stuff. It's like, ain't that much of a stat, so it seems like. Because yesterday's game, they never trail. And this one, um, I think they never trail either. But it seems like it was a close game. So, especially the fourth quarter, it seems like, you know, the Bucks end up, like, starting getting tired. And, like, they was getting weak and stuff like that. So, yeah, they was, like, really at that point, they was getting tired. But at least they didn't give up and, you know, lost the game. So, it's a good thing that they won tonight's game. Um, like I said, it's 108-117 was the final score. And the thing is, they played the same team on Monday. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I guess he, like Bobby Ford just pointed out, is just like, they got to do better in co- when they close the game. But, um... Right, but at I, least they're starting to get back on point, you know? Right, exactly. And that's the main thing, is that they had some pretty shitty games. And now it's time to turn it Right. So, yeah, the sad thing is it's like... The Orlando Magic didn't get that much help from their starting five, but like it looked like almost everybody that played today from their, you know, from their starters to their bench actually scored at least like some points. Um, of course, Cole Anthony was out because of injury. But um, let's see. Jalen Schroes was um was fourteen had fourteen points, four assists, six rebounds, a uh, one steal, two a seven from the three, so now the good scoring night for him and four of fifteen from the field. So yeah, he probably only won the starting five that scored like in double digits. Um the bench had did something today, so probably the bench is like the thing that was, you know, that kept the team going. Um, you got Chuma Okali with 13 points. Sorry. There you go. Um, 13 points, five rebounds, uh, one to four from three, six to 11 from the field. So. Not good with the three point, but did okay with um <laughs> with the scoring. Um, R.J. Hampton was had I think he had the oh. Yeah, that's just her. She's just not in the good place. Sorry about that, but R.J. Hampton, like I mentioned, 19 points, uh, one steal, nine assists, five rebounds, five and nine from three, so he did pretty good with three points. Um, overall, six of 12 from the field, so that's pretty good. So he did, kept the team going. Um, you got mother, mother. Sorry if I said it wrong, but 13 points. That's like four rebounds. Three or nine from the three-point line. 
five or twelve from the field. So a bad shooting night, but did help them, you know, with um scoring and stuff. And like and like I said, everybody that played today in the um Orlando Magic has scored one point or more. So yeah, the bench really, you know, did something. Um now let's look at the Bucks. Uh Chris Middleton, uh uh, 13 points, uh, 8 assists, 5 rebounds, 3 of 5 from 3, so he kind of cleaned that up a little bit, finally. Um, 4 of 9 from the field. So, then he didn't score enough at, like normal, but... So, but yeah... Like his low field goals made was kind of low, so that's just, you know, not, you know, outstanding or anything like that. Um, Giannis Antetokounmpo with the game high of 32 points um, had three blocks, two steals, five assists. Probably need to be a little bit better at, like, passing. He, and 20 rebounds, so he has a double-double, like a, they said he had, like, a 30-20 game, so that's, you know, pretty good with that. Um, 15 to 23 from the free throw, uh, one of three from three, and eight of 16 from the field overall. Um, Bobby Portis with 24 points, one block, 15 rebounds, six of seven from the three. So he had a good game with three point shooting. Um, 8 of 11 from the field, so he did pretty good. Um, Grayson Allen with 16 points, uh, 7 rebounds. Let's see. Uh, although he is a little bit bad from the three point line, 4 of 11 from 3, but 6 of 14 overall from the um, field. So he did eh, somewhat alright. Um, Drew Holiday with 11 points, uh, one block, one steal, five assists, five rebounds, uh, two or three from the three-point line. So he cleaned that up a little bit. But overall scoring, he's um, four of 12 from the field. So, yeah, kind of bad. Um, let's see. Um... Not many people scored from the bench. Um, Sammy didn't play yesterday, so I'm wondering what's going on with that, or they just gave him the day off. Yeah, probably. The only person from the bench that did, like, double digits, and they once again did a nine-man rotation. Uh, Pat Connaughton with 11 points. Uh... Let me make sure everything's right. Uh, one steal. No, yeah, yeah, he had one steal. Three rebounds. Two of five from three. Uh, three of six from the field. So, not scoring as much as he normally would, but it's still 